Okay, we've got our centering rings ready to go. Now we have to prep the tube itself. Um, now we're going to put the, the rail buttons on before we slide in the engine mount. Um, so to do that, first we need to mark the tube where that those rail buttons are going to go. Now the first thing, it needs to be right between the middle of two fins. And it's, it's not critical that you measure accurately, but you know, try to get it right in the middle. And then I'm going to take a, an angle and I want to draw a, draw a line down the tube. Now I'm using a marker um, just so that you can see it on the camera, but um, use a pencil whenever possible because that way you don't have to worry about the ink from the pen bleeding through the paint once you go to paint it. So there's my line down the tube. Um, now the back uh, rail button, um, it, a lot of people like to put them right at the very back and that's fine. Um, I'm going to put it up a little bit, um, kind of like where the edge of the fin is, just so that if I go to paint this thing it gives me more leeway on masking things off. Um, so I'm just going to put it right there. And then the forward one, um, I like to separate them as far apart as possible uh, because then there's less torque on them as the rocket's going up the rod. Um, the only th the thing that you have to worry about is there's going to be a shoulder coming in here from the uh, upper part of the rocket and uh, that shoulder is approximately four inches long so I got to be below that. So I'm just going to eyeball it. Or let me just get a, a ruler. I'm going to go at least six inches back. So that is where my two holes are going to go for the rail buttons. And then you're going to need a third hole or a vent hole. The vent hole is to allow the air inside the rocket to escape as it's going up to relieve the pressure so it doesn't push the, the rocket apart. Um, and I'm going to put that one pretty near the upper rail button hole, probably about a half inch below it. So I'm going to drill three holes there. And... I'm going to start with a 16th inch drill bit and then for the rail button holes I'm going with a 3 6 inch drill and for the vent hole I'm going with a 1 8 inch drill bit. Okay, so now I want to take one of my weld nuts and I want to just check the fit, make sure it goes through that hole. And it does just fine. And to keep it in place, I'm just going to put some CA glue on it. And I'm going to put the rail button on it. Now the rail button, you'll notice one side on the inner hole is chamfered. And that is for the little tiny screw. So that will go up. And this is just temporary right now. Um, we're going to pull these off later when we go to paint the rocket so that we don't have to mask off the rail buttons. This is just to hold them in place.
So now my rail buttons are on. And remember, we said before we wanted to have that flat part so that it would slide past that button there. And it does. And if it doesn't, just go ahead and sand it a little bit more. So I'm going to go ahead and just sand a little bit more and then I'll just come right back.